Kate Chopin, born Catherine O'Flaherty, was a U.S. author of short stories and novels. She is now considered by some to have been a forerunner of the feminist authors of the 20th century of Southern or Catholic background, such as Zelda Fitzgerald. From 1892 to 1895, she wrote short stories for both children and adults that were published in such magazines as Atlantic Monthly, Vogue, The Century Magazine, and The Youth's Companion. Her major works were two short story collections, by you folk and day night in Acadie. Her important short stories included D.A. Tilda Copyright S.I.R.A. Tilda Copyright E.S. Baby, A Tale of Miscegenation in Antebellum, Louisiana, The Story of an Hour, and The Storm. The Storm is a sequel to The Cadian Ball, which appeared in her first collection of short stories, by you folk. Chopin also wrote two novels, At Fault and the Awakening, which are set in New Orleans and Grand Isle respectively. The characters in her stories are usually inhabitants of Louisiana. Many of her works are set in Natchitoches in north-central Louisiana. Chopin was born Catherine O'Flaherty in St. Louis, Missouri. Her father, Thomas O'Flaherty, was a successful businessman who had emigrated from Galway Island. Her mother, Eliza Farris was a well-connected member of the French community in St. Louis and herself the daughter of A.T.H.A. Tilda Copyright N.A.A. Tilda Macron C. Chauville, who was of French-Canadian descent. Some of Chopin's ancestors were among the first European inhabitants of Dauphin Island, Alabama. She was the third of five children, but her sisters died in infancy and her half-brothers died in their early twenties. After her father's death in 1855, Chopin developed a close relationship with her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. She also became an avid reader of fairy tales, poetry, and religious allegories, as well as classic and contemporary novels. In St. Louis, Missouri, on 8 June 1870, she married Oscar Chopin and settled in New Orleans. Chopin had six children between 1871 and 1879 a circumflex in order of birth. Jean Baptist, Oscar Charles, George Francis, Frederick, Felix Andrew, and Delay Tilda Copyright Clear. In 1879, Oscar Chopin's cotton brokerage failed, and the family moved to Cloutierville and South Natchitoches Parish to manage several small plantations and a general store. They became active in the community, and Chopin absorbed much material for her future writing especially regarding the Creole culture of the area. Their home at 243 Highway 495 was a national historic landmark, and the home of the Bayou Folk Museum. On October 1, 2008, the house was destroyed by fire, with little left but the chimney. Although Chopin made an honest effort to keep her late husband's plantation and general store alive two years later she sold her Louisiana business. Her mother implored her to move back to St. Louis, so Chopin did, and the children gradually settled into life in St. Louis, where finances were no longer a concern. The following year, Chopin's mother died. Chopin now found herself in a state of depression after the loss of both her husband and her mother. Her obstetrician and family friend, Dr. Frederick Colben here felt that writing would be a source of therapeutic healing for Kate during her hard times. He understood that writing could be a focus for her extraordinary energy, as well as a source of income. By the early 1890s, Kate Chopin began writing short stories, articles, and translations which appeared in periodicals, including the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. She was quite successful and placed many of her publications in literary magazines. However, she became known only as a regional local color writer and her literary qualities were overlooked. In 1899, her second novel, The Awakening, was published, and garnered a significant amount of negative press, because it promoted values that conflicted with standards of acceptable ladylike behavior. Some of the most frequently referenced offensive ideas were those regarding female sexuality, motherhood, and marital infidelity. Although the novel received much negative press, some newspapers regarded it favorably. This, 
Her best-known work is the story of a woman trapped in the confines of an oppressive society. Out of print for several decades, it is now widely available and critically acclaimed for its writing quality and importance as an early feminist work in the South.